malabon eh. Tagakaloopan ako. Sino bang matatawagan ko o magiging kailangan ko para makakulang ko itong project namin sa Philippine History? Ah, alam ko na. Si Kuya Joel tsaka sa Kipasin, tawagan ko. Hello? Hello, Ate Kasin? Tulungan mo naman ako sa report natin sa Philippine History. Hindi na, hindi ko alam yung history ng Malabon eh. Di ba tagang Malabon ta? Ikaw yung mas nakakaalam ng history ng Malabon. Tulungan mo naman ako. Kasi nahihirapan ako eh. Pupunta ko din sa inyo. Ha? Sige, sige te. Sige po. Bye-bye. Punta na lang po ako dyan. Salamat po. kailangan na namin kayo. Oo, ngayon na. Bilisan nyo ha, kasi nagmamadali rin sa atin. Oo, sabihin nyo, para ano makapunta pa tayo sa mapupuntahan natin. Para, ma para marami tayong magawa. Si Dato pala, tawagan mo na din. O sige, sige, puntahan na lang dito ha. Daan na niya si Dato para isang puntahan na lang sila. Sige, punta daanan mo na lang din daw si Dato. Oo, sabi na tikasi Para dalawa na kayo pumunta dito. Oo. Sige, sige, sige. Sige. Ano ba yung lahat? Oo, yan. Mas light pa yung sila. Pembari na. Mas light pa yung pembari. Ate! 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 Oh, sorry. Hindi ko alam. Pero nga tayo kasi, ang, yun lang namin 
gusto dito sa ano eh. Malabon. Diba Manila so, tapos ang malabon yung uh, tayo, akalokan, wala naman so malabon lang. Kaya, isa rin ipipicture din natin yun. Pero ngayon, as of all, punta muna tayo ng Sitio. Sitio! Wow! Ano na? Ano? Ano? Okay na, sige na, sige na. Malabon is part of the sub-region of Metro Manila, informally called Kamanava, which consists of Caloocan, Malabon, Navotas, and Valenzuela cities. Caloocan lies to the south and east, Navotas to the west, and Valenzuela to the north. Malabon also borders the town of Obando in the province of Bulacan to the northwest. <laughs> Malabon, mahal nating bayan Tayo ang siyang mga kawal Oreta Sports Center is a stadium, sport complex located at FC Villa Boulevard, San Agustin, Malabon City. The church measures 70.14 meter long and 20.5 meter wide. It has a central nave and two aisles, transept and a done in the media naranja or barrel vault style, cupped by a campanile. The porch is supported by imposing ionic columns, which resembles a Greco-Roman temple. The church, according to Ivy Maliari, dominated not only the street but also the surrounding area. The ionic colonnade is visually satisfying, one of the most beautiful examples of ecclesiastical architecture that Spain has left this country. On 17 May 1614, Tambobong was established as an independent parish under the advocation of I pray you'll be 
eyes and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know let this be When we lose our way Lead us to Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see the late 1930s, Dolores Santos, who was fond of cooking especially native products, thought of selling kakanin in the neighborhood to help sustain her family everyday needs. The products were ribing kanggalapong, kochinta, mahablangka, biko pinipig, malagkit, munggog, bibingkang tinapay, bread pudding. It was sold in the cockpit arena in La Loma, Quezon City, and also in Malabon Central Market. Because of the continued demand, Dolores Kakanin was established today. Okay, I 
Oh, ayan ang Dolores Kakanin sa Malabon. Okay na, go. Sinforoso Pascual House. On the right, before you get to the Iglesia Ni Cristo local ng Malabon, is the Sinforoso Pascual House. As is the common plight of most Malabon residences, the ground floor of this house has become much lower than street level, simply because the street level has been raised so much. You could probably stand on the street and shake hands with whoever is at the second floor window. The Junisio House. A little past the Iglesia on your left, you will find the Junisio House at the corner of General Luna and Sigua Streets. Built around 1920, the house still looks very elegant. Rupina Patis. From its modest beginnings in the kitchens of an enterprising housewife in 1900, Rufina Patis has become a byword in homes and restaurants over the years. As front runner in the fish sauce industry in the Philippines, it has continued to develop its products scientifically while maintaining rigid quality control. 
This dedication to quality has made Ripina Patis very popular not only locally but also in Europe, Canada, Hong Kong, Australia, Middle East, and the mainland USA, where it is currently being exported regularly. Rufina Patis has become an institution in itself, with its distinguished history going back to more than 100 years. Rufina Patis has become an iconic homegrown product and very much a part of Malabon's heritage that we can be proud of. Malabon Zoo first opened 21 years ago on signboard posted on the animal cages owner Manny Tancos relate how Malabon Zoo began. He tells of how as a 5 year old child on a hunting trip to a tropical rainforest of Mindoro he saw magnificent callow hornbills and whistling ducks being shot by hunters, red vented cockatoos now endangered, flying away from smoke caused by forest burning, trust carrying gigantic tree trunks. They're scampering away from the tall trees felled by a chainsaw. As if by divine intervention, Mr. Tanko recount he brought with him the book of Noah's Ark. He became determined to have Noah's Ark of his own, so that in case the forest disappeared, we would have a time capsule of animals for future generations. Thus began the Malabon Zoo's Ark, according to Mr. Tanko, Noting that today, through the charisma of these animals, the Filipino people are reminded and inspired to protect the few remaining forests and wildlife left in the country. Yourself stuck in the middle of the sea. I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what...
ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea? I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you.